I'm in hospital, as you can see. I'm in a hospital room and today I had a mastectomy. And I feel all right, can't believe it. I went under the anaesthetic at about quarter to 11 this morning and woke up at about quarter to three because I remember looking at the cot and thinking, oh, look, children will be coming out of school soon, my children. Um, and I feel all right, I can't believe it. The NHS staff have been awesome. I'm completely in awe of them. They are so inspiring and so caring and I feel so grateful to them. Um, when I woke up from the anaesthetic, I did cry, I did cry because I was, it was just relief, it was such a relief. The malignant tumour in my right breast is gone and two or three lymph nodes have gone. Uh, I feel a bit groggy still from the anaesthetic, but that's obviously completely normal. Um, and my two boys have been here, and my partner, and a really good friend of ours called Ben. And that was amazing to see them. Yeah. Can't believe it, really. So, the surgeon draws marks on you, <laughs> uh, obviously on your torso to show where the, the, the cuts are going to be made, the incisions, and also this on my right arm, so there is absolutely no confusion about which side the uh, team in theatre will be approaching. I'm in some pain, not much, because obviously I've got painkillers uh, which are managing it. Um, it feels like someone's punched me, punched me in the right hand side, but it's it's not the end of the world. It's really not. I'm wearing these very attractive bed socks, which will stop clotting. The word cancer has such a chilling effect on people, me included. But I've learned over the last few weeks that it doesn't have this illness does not have to be elevated to some uber powerful status it's simply an illness which the nhs treat with expertise and care everyone who's diagnosed with cancer i've learned has a different story a different experience and a different way of approaching it i for what it's worth i don't feel that i'm battling cancer i don't feel that i'm fighting cancer, I am simply being treated for cancer. The reason that I wanted to talk about what has happened to me is partly because I'm a pretty open person, but also because more than one in three people will be diagnosed with cancer at some point in their lifetime. Obviously, I've looked up those stats. And I will, here's the thing, here is the thing, having cancer is manageable. It can be manageable. Having a mastectomy is totally doable. I didn't know those things until I got cancer. And that's and that's what I want to tell people. I know I know everybody's different when they're diagnosed. I know every cancer is different. Everybody has a different experience, but that's mine and I hope you don't mind me sharing that with you. So many of you have sent me uplifting, pragmatic messages. Messages from women who've had mastectomies. Photographs of women up a mountain in Wales to say, this is me one year after having a mastectomy. If I can do it, you can do it. So many men have sent me strength and good luck and best their best wishes, and I can never repay you for those. I'm so, so grateful because they have been really uplifting. So thank you very much. I not only had a mastectomy today, I also had a reconstructed, a reconstructed implant, a, a reconstruction. I can't remember the official term, but that's because I'm still groggy. I think it's a reconstruction implant only. So I have an implant, it's small. And I'm going to show you not much, there's 
tiny bit of cleavage. Obviously, I don't want to be grim, so I'm I'm sorry, but I just it's it is what it is, isn't it? They cut underneath the breast and they draw all the cancer out. Scrape it out, cut it out, whatever. And then underneath the skin underneath the skin, it's amazing. Underneath the skin, they put the implant and then they draw the skin. They pull the skin over the implant and right at the bottom is a, a sort of sling or a, or mesh sling and my skin if all goes well will merge with the mesh and and will hopefully look reasonably natural um yeah i mean that's amazing isn't it <laughs> that is amazing I'm going to show you some dressings um, uh, on my right side and I'm going to show you underneath my arm because three lymph nodes were taken away. They had micromets, I think that was the word, but tiny, tiny, tiny bits of cancerous cells. So they take them out and they will then analyse that tissue and that will guide the medical professionals um, in terms of whether I end up having radiotherapy and or chemotherapy. Okay, so... That's obviously the side of the breast. You can see some dressings and some waterproof plastic coverings. The blue is actually dye. You can see blue dye, which was injected in order to um, show up the lymph nodes that might have tiny bits of cancerous cells in. They have gone, so that's good. What I also want to show you are these two things these are called drains they're attached with a small stitch to the right hand side and they are obviously draining fluid and blood into a, a little plastic pack which you can't properly see let me try ow Ooh, that hurt a bit um obviously this is blood and fluid kind of drugs that I've been given to help with the pain, ibuprofen, paracetamol and a tiny little bit of morphine in this jar, I hope you can see that in this little cup, plastic cup. Um, and the, the pain is, it reminds me of, if you've got boys, you're, this is bound to have happened to you, when if you're playing football with your boys and they tackle you a little bit too hard and they run into you and bash you because they don't realise that your chest is so sensitive, um, it's that kind of pain, which is just achy and dull, but not searing by any stretch of the imagination. Good morning, it's the morning after the afternoon before, no, it's the morning after the day before, that'll do. And I'm just ha about to have some breakfast, cornflakes toast, I'm absolutely starving still. Uh, and I feel good and a bit tired, that's it. And the sun is shining. Can't really see, I suppose. Sun is shining and the sky is blue and I've spoken to my family on the phone, everybody this morning. Texted various people, they've texted me and I'm being discharged today, I'm going home. It's five days since I had the mastectomy. Gracie and I are just messing about. There's not that much pain, to be honest. Five days on, it. there's the odd twinge, or if you pull yourself really sharply, like I tried to get out of, out of the way of stepping on Gracie by accident, and it pulled on my right side. I am restricted in my movement. I can, I'm up and about, I can walk, I can do all that sort of stuff, but I can't really use my right-hand side. I couldn't lift a book or a laptop, or I can't hold the shower head to wash my hair, or use my right arm to clean my teeth. So that's slightly frustrating, but it's not the end of the world. I'm, in a couple of weeks, I will get the results from all the tissue that's been analyzed that was taken out of me during the operation. So that will tell me the size of the tumor and the grade of the cancer and whether or not I need radiotherapy and or chemotherapy. I'm not worried about that because the cancer is out of me. It's gone. Um, that's just the next part of the treatment. That's the next part of the process. And in this whole process, I haven't felt, I haven't actually felt ill once, which is bizarre. 
Um, as you can see, I am using a, a bag to carry the attractive drains. I hope you can see that. So I'm hiding those in there, just over my normal clothes. And there they are, handily. Bag that which goes across me. I feel, I feel really positive. I've got no reason not to feel positive. I've just put the camera back on because the, the one thing that I haven't said, which is my overriding emotion, and it is that I have to make sure that this cancer doesn't come back. And I'll see you back on our programme very soon.